my driveway now, folks. I've backed my trailer back to my garage door here. And I'm back with a full set of kitchen cabinets that I removed from a client's kitchen yesterday and this morning. Took me a long while. This is a large, large set of cabinets. And I'm going to unload those and hopefully try to set them up. And stay tuned toward the end of the video because hopefully, as I said, I'll have them set up here in my garage. I'm going to set them up down here. So uh, stay tuned for that, folks. Stay tuned to GBL, the old church, five acre homestead. And if you look back here, folks, I have my trailer all hooked up because after school today, I'm heading to St. John's just myself. Uh, this evening and I'm staying in St. John's for the weekend because I got a job in St. John's to do over the weekend and uh, I'll be staying at an hotel and uh, get my job done and hopefully come back again uh, maybe late Saturday or early Sunday morning. So busy weekend ahead for Mr. Gary. Okay I'm almost here now folks at the Best Western Plus Hotel. I have to go around this circle here. Best Western Plus Hotel in the distance. Now, this is usually very full, so hopefully I can find a place to park. I have a truck and a trailer in tow, so it's not going to be all that easy to find a double parking spot, but hopefully I will be able to find one. If not, I'll have to park underneath that sign. I've done that before. Double parking spot. Double parking spot, Mr. Gary. Where you can park your truck and your trailer. Okay, looks like we're going to be parking right here. The last two reserved for Mr. Gary. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect, perfect parking spot. Hi folks, arrived in St. John's uh, only a few minutes ago. I've checked into the hotel now and I've also checked into my room. So here's my key, let's go inside. Let's go inside, here we go. Inside my hotel room, this is where I'm gonna spend the next couple of days. Here's the big, here's the big bathroom folks, a big beautiful bathroom. There's the vanity, all supplied with all the necessary things that you need to keep yourself clean. Here's the big shower, big stand-up shower with glass doors, big and beautiful, lots of room. Okay, all everything you need. A beautiful picture here, a picture of a typical Newfoundland and Labrador outport village, town or community. This is typical of anywhere that you would see around Newfoundland and Labrador. And if you ever get a chance, folks, to come to Newfoundland and Labrador, take in one of these outport villages. There's lots of those around. Okay, let's go out here into the room. There we go. A nice big picture of an iceberg. Also very typical of Newfoundland and Labrador, especially in the spring, around late April, May, and June months. Here's my room. Lots and lots of space. Got a little seating area here. There's my laptop, a little fireplace. Yeah, the little desk uh, section there. There's a microwave in here. Should I need to warm anything up? A little, a little fridge right here that I can put some things in. Okay, a large screen TV here. A little place over here to sit as well. And I have a large big king bed. Uh, lots of room for me for this evening for sure and tomorrow. So looking forward to spending a couple of quiet days. Mr. Gary here flying solo, folks. Flying solo this weekend. Got my laptop there to do a bit of work that I need to get completed. Gary here at my hotel room at the Best Western Plus Hotel. Good Sunday morning, folks. Gary here from GBL, the old church. Five Acre Homestead. I had a very, very busy weekend 
here in St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. I have my trailer full and I have the back of my truck full as well. I have a, I have a stove here and a sink and in my trailer, let's have a look. In my trailer, in my trailer, I have a full set of kitchen cabinets that I removed yesterday from my client's kitchen. <laughs> my trailer is actually really, really full. It's right to the back. So here we go. I'm gonna take those home. I'm gonna refurbish those. I'm gonna get at them and, and get them all reconditioned and refurbished. And they'll be up for rehoming very, very soon. Let's lock up this trailer, folks. Here we go. I'm gonna be heading out now very, very soon. Heading home to Gander with my truck and trailer in tow. Here we go. Heading home now. It's Sunday afternoon. It's uh, it's about 1:30 uh, in the afternoon now on Sunday, and beautiful, beautiful day. Except for uh, it being overcast and a little bit foggy, uh, the temps are around seven degrees here now. Heading out from St. John's, folks. No snow here on the Avalon Peninsula on the east coast of Newfoundland at all. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can have a look. It is a foggy old day on the east coast of Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada, folks. Gary here. I'm heading home now, and uh, it is it is quite mild though. It's a plus seven degrees. It is around 2 p.m. in the afternoon now on Sunday. Uh, like I said, I'm heading home, and uh, except for the fog, it's a beautiful, beautiful drive. No snow whatsoever. Now, I'm, I'm sure that's not the story when I get uh, towards central Newfoundland and Labrador, when I get toward Gander. Uh, hopefully though, where it has been a very mild weekend, I'm hoping that most of the snow on the streets and in my driveway back in Gander is melted and gone. Uh, so let's, let's hope, with my fingers crossed, that when I get more towards central, I'm gonna see the sides of the roads very similar to what you and I are seeing right now. No snow at all on the east coast of Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. Hi folks, hi friends of GBL, the old church, five acre homestead. I'm getting close to Gander now, close to central Newfoundland and close to home. Except for the fog, it has been a great, great driving experience today, heading home for my solo weekend in St. John's and staying at the hotel. I had a great weekend, a very productive weekend. I did complete uh, my job for this client and I have my trailer full of spoils that I'll show you later on. Heading home now and I should be home, oh, maybe in about five, 10 minutes. Lots of snow here in central Newfoundland though, but the roads are good. Good driving today, folks. See you again very, very soon. Back in my driveway now, folks. I've backed my trailer back to my garage door here, and I'm back with a full set of kitchen cabinets that I removed from a client's kitchen yesterday and this morning. Took me a long while. This is a large, large set of cabinets, and I'm gonna unload those and hopefully try to set them up. And stay tuned toward the end of the video because hopefully, as I said, I'll have them set up here in my garage. I'm gonna set them up down here. So. Uh, stay tuned for that, folks. Stay tuned to GBL, the old church, five-acre homestead. I'm going to unload this full set of kitchen cabinets now. Okay, so I have a few of the tops and a few of the bottoms taken out of the trailer. I'll get them all put in my garage very, very soon. I'm going to keep at it, as I said, and get this trailer all unloaded this evening. Okay, thought I would give you a quick look, folks, at the set that I have here now. A beautiful, beautiful set. I have the bottoms all arranged uh, the way they need to go. A beautiful pantry, an island with, uh, with a wine rack into it. Beautiful, beautiful. Even got the stove this time. 
and the range hood and even the attachment there. A beautiful set of bottom cabinets. Here's the sink and here's all the top ones. The top ones need a good cleaning. There's a lot of uh, uh, grime and grease and stuff like that. So I'll be working on that tomorrow before I can put this set uh, together, folks. But a beautiful, beautiful set. Just the same, it was hard work getting this one. Took me all day Saturday and most of the morning uh, before I had these out and in my trailer. So here we go, I'm home now. Gonna go inside and relax with Miss Betty and call this one a weekend. Folks, I wanna thank you always for tuning into our YouTube channel. Uh, I can never say it enough. Thanks for liking, thanks for sharing, thanks for those great, great comments, and always, always, thank you for subscribing to GBL, the old church, Five Acre Homestead. Gary, signing out now, folks. Have, uh, have an enjoyable week coming up. This week coming up is going to be my 13th, my last 13th week of teaching. I wonder what's in store. But anyway, I'll finish getting at these cabinets when I get home from school tomorrow. But anyway, you guys have a great one, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye again. Gary, signing out.